Hey everybody, glad to see you guys back here once again on the channel. Now for you fans who've been following us, you guys know that we've been doing a lot of testing with the 1600X and with the brand new i5-8600K. Now we've brought you guys a lot of different scores using a 1080 and also using the Vega 64, but Today's video is a little bit different. Now, today we're gonna show you a video using an H110M motherboard and a G4400 CPU. Now, this is a $50 CPU and a $50 motherboard. And we're gonna actually show you guys the comparisons and see how bad does your video card actually get bottlenecked using this low-end CPU. And also, if you guys would like to see a full-on review of the system we built that's really super-duper low-end, um, let me know and we'll bring it to the table because it actually is a very, very low entry system. It's only about 380 bucks. Has a low-end video card in it for the system that we've been building on it, but if you guys wanna see that, let me know. Now, obviously we're gonna have different test systems. So like I said, if you guys have followed the channel, you guys know the other test systems that we use. We showed them many times in the past and like usual, we'll have a link down there below. But now real quick, let's jump in and let's see how bad does a $50 CPU and a $50 motherboard actually make your GPU suck. So with that said, let's check it out. All right, folks, so there you have it. And you guys can see that even though a $50 CPU and $50 motherboard will play games, it doesn't play games with high-end video cards very well at all. But think about this. You're a person out there, 
you don't really have a whole lot of money to upgrade a system, but you still want to be able to play video games and have a good video card that you might possibly be able to transition into your newer system, well, this video is probably really good for you because you guys can see, you know, how it's doing. Also, you see if you upgrade from that, how much better results you're going to get. So at the end of the day, obviously, a $50 CPU doesn't play games that great unless you're going to be using a really duper, super duper, excuse me, low-end video card. If you're going to be doing that, playing in low-end graphics, graphics and stuff, you'll probably be just okay using a super low-end video card and that small-end system that we talked about. Once again, like I said, if you guys want me to bring that full system to the table, just let me know and I'll bring that system to the table as well. But I got to tell you, it's not the greatest gaming machine in the world, but it is under $400, so that's a thumbs up. So there you have it, folks. Obviously, if you've got a lower, older in CPU, the higher the video card you get, the more it's going to be restrained and bottlenecked, and the lower the video card, the better your results are going to be. So there you have it. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. We got lots more stuff coming up, all kinds of interesting stuff coming up here on the channel. So stay tuned for more tech here on Tech of Tomorrow. And hey, like usual, like I said, all the links to all the stuff we've done previously will be down below that like button below. Peace.